Hi, Randy Carter with Angler's Choice in Martinsville, Virginia here. I'm coming to you from this beautiful 2019 Z518 L, powered by the Mercury Four Stroke. Beautiful boat. Um, what we're gonna talk about today is some depth finder issues. <clears throat> As technology advances in the ranch, it's becoming a requirement for the user to do some software maintenance. Of course, Lowrance provides all this on their website. Some folks don't have access to it or don't have the time, so there's another option you can do to keep these units up to date. I want to talk with you a little bit about it today. Um, all you need is a hotspot that you can hook on to, and if you don't have one at your home or anywhere else, with cell phones these days, the Androids, the iPhones, they have hotspots available that you can turn on. You can do that and link your unit to that. What you're gonna need is a SD card that has the micro chip insert because all the newer units, carbons, take the mini chip rather than the standard SD. So once you have that and a available hotspot, then you can do this from in the boat just as I'm gonna show you now. So we're gonna take a couple of minutes show you the process and hope this helps you out in the future. Okay, so the first thing we need to do before you power your unit on is insert the mini chip into the unit. So it's the slide door flips up, take your chip, place it into the chip slot. Make sure it's locked in place, close it back. Next thing you wanna do is go ahead and power your depth finder up. So I'm gonna do that. And as we all know, with the uh, carbons and the HDS series, it takes just a second for it to warm up get everything running and come up. So we're gonna wait on it to come in right here. And what we're gonna do, once we have the unit on, we're gonna to have to go in and turn our wireless connection on so it can scan for the hotspot that you'll be using. So everything can be done from your system control button um, and we're gonna go into that system control menu. So now we're up, I'm gonna accept the message and I'm gonna to go to my system control menu, which is release, press and release the power button. Now that we're here, we have our wireless tab there. We have to go in and turn the wireless connection on. So that is something we'll have to go to settings for. So I'm gonna to go there. And if you scroll down in the menu, you'll see wireless. We're gonna to go to that. You see internal wireless, right now it's off. So I'm just gonna click that on, give it just a second. Once everything brightens back to white, as you just saw and not grayed out, you know that your wire, internal wireless is on. So we're gonna X out of that. We're gonna go back to our system control and we're gonna go to our wireless tab. Now it's gonna bring up and prompt you connect to a wireless hotspot. So we wanna do that. And when you do that, it's gonna bring up this information window. And as you see, our available hotspot is Angler's Choice Marine. So that's what I'm gonna to connect to. So I'm gonna go into that. It brings up the password, asking you for the password. So I'm gonna go there and I'm just gonna put our password in for our Wi-Fi here. Once you do that, hit enter, and you'll see that it comes up and asks you to connect. It's not gonna automatically do it. You have to prompt it to connect to the hotspot. So I'm gonna go ahead, press connect, and it's gonna take just a second, and it's gonna come up and it'll show you that you are connected to your wireless hotspot. And in this situation, this depth finder has just locked on to our hotspot and it's already scanned and it's telling me that there is an update available for this device. So we have our card in place, which was in before we powered the unit. So we're gonna go right here to download. And what is gonna happen, it's gonna download this software update from Lowrance to our chip, then we can place it on the unit. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and download. Okay, so now we're showing that we're connected to our hotspot. We've went through and downloaded the software to our chip the software update rather, to our chip. So we're gonna go out of this window, the wireless device window, we've done what we need here. We're gonna to go to our system control and I'm gonna exit out of this and show you. Press and release power button, system control, go to settings. Once you're into settings, you're gonna to go to your system and scroll down and go to about, which is your software versions, things such as that, serial number, all that. So it's showing us our current version of software. It's showing us that we do have an update available. So when you get here, there is a support tab right on the other side. We're gonna choose that. Check system for updates, which we already know that it's 
an update available, but this is going to take us where we need to be. So it brings up the updated version. We've already got it to our chip, so it's asking us to restart our unit. Of course, when you do a software update, you have to repower the unit and it will take you through the prompt you through the steps. So what we're going to do is just going to go ahead and hit restart. And software has finished downloading, will be applied next time you restart your device. Do you want to restart now? Yes, we're going to restart. And when this unit comes back up, we should see that the download is coming across and loading into the unit on the bottom of the screen here, which gives you a blue bar and it crosses its way across the bottom. So we're going to let it come back up and we're going to see if our software will download. Okay, once it comes up, validating the update, please wait, do not turn off during update as this may damage your device. So what we're gonna watch is for this blue line to go across and when that happens, it's gonna go restart itself and go right back into the page that you normally see when you power the unit up. So we're gonna give it just a second to download. Once the software update has finished, it's going to reboot the unit. It's going to come back to normal operation. So we're just going to accept. It's going to go back to our sonar. So we're going to go to our system tab and, and make sure our software updates in place. So we're going to go system control, settings, system, scroll down to about. And as you can see, we have version 18.2. So the unit has been updated. Everything's in place. So I'm just going to exit out of that. We're going to pull our chip out which I already have, and that's gonna take care of it. So every couple of months, you're gonna to want to do the same process. That way, if there's any current software updates available, the unit will prompt you and let you know that Lawrence has them in place. I hope this helps you out. It's just another avenue you can do to do this software maintenance. Again, this is Randy Carter with Angler's Choice in Martinsville, Virginia. We invite you to come see us here at the dealership or visit us online at our website. Have a great day.